blind Bartimaeus. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. Mark chapter 10, verse 49. This morning, my Bible study blessed me through the story of blind Bartimaeus. Jesus is headed to Jerusalem, his final trip. He knows betrayal and death are ahead. He has just told his disciples about it. He is focused on his difficult mission when he hears a cry for mercy. The cry grows louder and Jesus stops and says, Call him. Bartimaeus immediately throws off his cloak, jumps to his feet, and comes to Jesus. When Jesus asks what he wants, Bartimaeus responds, I want to see. Jesus says, Go, and assures him that his faith has healed him. Immediately, Bartimaeus receives his sight, but he does not go away. He goes with Jesus. Luke chapter 8 and verse 43 tells us he not only follows but he praises God as he follows. No matter what Jesus is doing, he always hears our cries for mercy and he stops to respond. He calls, Come unto me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. This story speaks to me today. Like Bartimaeus, we must throw off what hinders us from coming to Jesus. It might be our clock of sins tripping up our feet. It might be our clock of self-righteousness and its, and its impression of protection and comfort. The writer of Hebrews puts it this way. Let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. When Bartimaeus tells Jesus plainly his need, Jesus proclaimed his faith has healed him. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel I don't have enough faith. Yet we know from Romans chapter 12 verse 3 that God gives each of us a measure of faith. God gives us the amount of faith needed for the healing that only He can provide. And now that He has given us sight, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before Him endured the cross scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Let us follow him joyfully and with praise. Myrna L. Hannah I would love to hear from you. Comment down below your thoughts about this devotion.